welcome welcome to algebra three uh we have no seniors anymore all the seniors are gone but we have two weeks of class left if we have finals unless you become exempt you know if you're exempt then you won't have finals the finals are right after memorial day in two weeks so let's get to our last two lessons let's take a look in buzz to see what we have this week uh because i do have some stuff for us to do the next two weeks okay looking at our grade screen as usual we scroll down uh we see we are done with module eight nothing left for module eight that was due eight out of five was due last night but we have uh buffon's buffon's needle problem this is a project so i have a project for us it's due this sunday uh, this was for the final for seniors only so don't worry about that but Let's go to activities and see what this project is. Okay, I'm going to close module eight. We're done with that. Oh, this is in the module eight folder. I need to move that out of that folder. But anyway, you'll see there's a folder down here called Buffon's Needle Problem Project. Let's look at the description and then we'll look at the submission, which you submit there. Okay. Now, for this project, you can use toothpicks, you can use matchsticks, you can use bobby pins, you can use needles. You know, don't poke yourself if you got a needle. But any anything that is you have multiple of the same shape, and that you have a small quantity of, they're all the same shape. It's some straight sticks, something that's straight, and they have to be exactly the same length. And like matchsticks works great. So what we do is you measure the length. Like if we're using toothpicks, let's say. And then we're going to draw lines that are twice the length of that. And I'll show you this. We'll do this. The length of two toothpicks. And then we're going to drop the toothpicks over the paper and count how many of them are on the line. And then we're going to create like a spreadsheet or something. You can do this on paper. You don't have to make a formal, you know, sheet. You can do this on paper. And then we're going to calculate the number dropped divided by the number crossing the line. And we're going to keep dropping until you've dropped at least 100. Right. If you've only got five, you're going to drop them 20 times. If you've got 10, drop them 10 times. You can you can drop 200 if you want, just at least, at least 100. And then we'll go to submission page, see what I need to turn in. So let's take a look at that first. Uh, just report your data, that spreadsheet you make on, on paper or on a computer. Uh, and then what's happening? Do you see a pattern? Are your calculations getting closer to any particular number as your total increases? Or is it just a random thing? So it might be good to keep a total as you go along. So let's let's see what this would look like in real life. So so you're not confused. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I've got some toothpicks here. I've got at least 10. I think I've got one, two, three, four, eight, six, seven, eight, 10, 11. 12. I have 16, 16 toothpicks. So I'm going to take the distance of two toothpicks. Ooh, that takes a lot of paper. Let me turn the paper this way. I've taped two pieces of paper together, so I'd have lots of uh, lots of space. But if I draw a line, first I'm just going to draw a line across the page, right? Just, just a line. Okay, now I want to take the distance of two toothpicks. So my second line will be right here. Let me measure it down here, too, so I can kind of have some consistency going across. All right, so there's the distance of two toothpicks. And I'm going to draw that all the way across the page. Okay, now I'm going to go, since I've got more room down here, more, more paper, let's do another two toothpicks. So that line would be right here. They give me another point of reference over here. Okay. Let's draw this line all the way across. Okay, so I've got this paper and I've got these lines. If it bounces down this paper, I got a line down there, but I'll see if it'll stay on this paper. Now I'm going to take these 16 toothpicks and I'm, I'm going to hold them way up in the air up here, like, you know, a foot in the air or something. So if they go off the paper, I'm just going to redrop them on there somewhere. All right. 
Now I'm going to count how many are on the line. One, two, three, four, no more there, five. So I've got five. So I'm going to take, uh, I've already kind of made this little sheet. I was going to keep track of it on. So the first time I dropped 16 and there are five. So I got it where it automatically calculates for me. Uh, that's 3.2. 16 and 5. So I'm going to drop again. All right, let me get my 16 toothpicks back. Again, if it goes off the paper, I'll just redrop the ones that go off the paper. I want everything to stay on the paper. Oh, this one's off the paper. I'm going to throw it on there. Okay. So. Oh, this is an interesting drop. I've got one, two, three, four, five. This one's right on the line. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you'll see some of them bounce to my other paper down here, but they are not touching that line. See, it's real close right there. That's that's real close, but not touching the line. So I've got ten this time. So let me go back to my sheet. I dropped another 16, so I'm going to get... That means I got 32 that I've dropped, and now 15 of them have touched the line. So there's a whole bunch there. Now I can keep track of 16, 16, and 10, and run the total down here. But I'm I'm going to keep a running total, so I can look for a pattern, perhaps. All right, let me get these again. Gather them all together. They like say you can use matchsticks or bobby pins or whatever you have and you don't have to have 16 of them if you have less you just have to drop more often because we're trying to get at least 100 dropped right okay well that one's mostly on the paper i'll count it now so okay how many is on the line this time there's one up here two three four five six seven seven on the line Okay, so now I've dropped 48, add seven more. Okay. One. Let me gather these up one more time here. Oh. All right, come on. All right, here we go. I hope it's not affected by the fact I got a little bit of a wrinkle right there when they're taped together. Okay. One, two, three, four. And there's one on this line down here, five. So only five are on the line this time. 64 and 27. Anyway, I'm not going to keep going. I'm going to let you do this. I want you to keep going until you have at least 100. Or 150, or however many you want to, but at least 100, and we're gonna we're gonna see what happens as you keep dropping and see what this number ends up getting closer and closer to. You know, I can do a total down here, which my my total since I'm doing it like this right now is 64 is my total, and 27. You know, like I I can do these with 16 each time and just keep the total at the bottom and update that. So this was uh, five. This was seven. This was 10. See, those are kind of crazy numbers everywhere. But this is what I want to watch is what has the total change each time? What's the to total doing each time? So, all right. That's the assignment. It's a project. This is worth 50 points, guys. 50 points. Regular assignments have been worth like 20 points, 25 points throughout the semester. This is 50 points because this is something you're actively doing. And we're going we're gonna to review this next week. So make sure you take some time this week. Get you some paper. Get you some sticks, matchsticks, toothpicks, pins, needles, whatever it is, as long as they're all the same, consistent length. Get you some paper. Do some drops. Do some records. You're doing some actual project this week. We're going to have a different project next week. So this is a great chance to bring your grade up because it's worth 50 points if you just do it. You do it correctly where you have at least 100 dropped or more and uh, then we can discuss it next week but anyway that's it it's a very short class because you've got work to do this week we're not gonna spend a lot of time talking about that in class so 
get this done, get this submitted before next class, uh, next week. This is a B day Friday, so I'm only here Wednesday. If you have questions, come by Wednesday. Uh, Mr. Brock, I'm trying to do this. I think I'm doing something wrong. Well, let's check it out. Let's see. So, Buffon's Needle Project. All right, guys. I'll see you next week. Have fun with this.